What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Let Us Pray. Hope you're having a blessed and prosperous day. We're here with that Falcons talk. Um, post game. I know I did a post game reaction yesterday, but this is a Falcons talk epiphany. I just had an epiphany. Let Dan Quinn stay as the coach. The least he can do right now is lead the Atlanta Falcons to the number one pick of the 2020 draft. He owes the city of Atlanta that much for robbing us of winning seasons the past few years. His refusal to change his personnel, his refusal to change his scheme, his stubbornness to keep guys around like Vic Beasley, um, like uh, Kamal Ishmael. These guys on defense are useless, but he continually, continually pushed to have these guys stay on the roster when they have no use in an NFL football game. Um, so the least he can do is hang in there as the NFL coach, stockpile losses, and lead the Atlanta Falcon franchise to the number one pick in the 2020 and usher in the new era as we get a new coach and hopefully that will springboard us towards uh, glory giving us a Lombardi trophy. Uh, so I I'm backtracking. I don't want Dan Quinn fired. I want him to stay there, eat these losses like a man, and lead the Falcons to the number one pick. If you guys are with me, give me some likes, give me some comments, thumbs up or thumbs down. Let me know if you want Dan Quinn fired or if you want him to stay. I want him to stay. I'm not kidding, I'm not being sarcastic. Um, I honestly would love to see him stay. I would love to see him stay. I would love to see him um, be the Atlanta Falcons coach, lead us to the one and 15 record that he deserves to get. Um, I think his stubbornness, his will will be broken by the time he uh, sees that his scheme does not work. It does not work. It does not work. It doesn't work, Dan Quinn. It's not gonna work. No matter how many players you plug in, it's not gonna work. You don't have a pass rush. You keep overpaying for mediocre players. You keep guys around that are nice and that are friendly, so you can pat them on the back and rah-rah and laugh and joke and all this type of stuff. No, we don't need that. We need football players. We need a coach that's gonna establish discipline, cut down on the penalties, know how to evaluate talent with a viable professional football scheme. So lead us to the number one pick so we can get that coach that can get us to where we need to go and we can decide whether we wanna keep the number one pick or whether we want to trade down and stockpile draft picks. It's your boy, let us pray. Back with that real Falcons talk. Hope you guys have a blessed and prosperous Monday. Uh, hope you had a great weekend. Peace.